Hello my friends, in this video I would like to show you my solution on problem 3 in India MO. This is Webpeak. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe my channel. The problem is the following. S is a subset of integers between 0 and 9. We assume that for any large enough integer n, one can express it as the sum of two integers a and b, whose digits are all in the set S. So the question is to find the minimum cardinality of S that enjoys this property. To answer this kind of questions, there are always two sides. On one hand, you need to construct an appropriate subset S with cardinality as small as possible. On the other hand, you need to show that this cardinality cannot be reduced, which means that your solution is indeed the minimum. So let me first show you my construction. The subset I pick is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 7. I will show that any number larger than 1 is indeed a sum of numbers with digit in this subset. The way I'm going to proceed is to perform an induction with respect to the number of digits. More precisely, I denote pk as the statement where the number n has at most k digits. In other words, n is between 1 and 10 to the power k. To perform the induction, we first check that the initialization with k equals to 1 is true. Well, this is just a primary school exercise. We can list out all the numbers and check them one by one. Next, we assume that pk is true and prove pk plus 1. Indeed, we only need to worry about numbers between 10 to the k and 10 to the k plus 1. In this case, n is the sum of some number n k times 10 to the k plus a reminder r, which is between 0 and 10 to the k. So now the natural idea is to apply the induction on this reminder r. If r is larger than 1, then the induction can be applied. This means we can find a and b with digit in s such that r is the sum of a b. Now it remains to take care of the top digit which is essentially the same as the easy case when k equals to 1. For example, if nk is 1, then we add a top digit 1 to a. If nk is 2, then we add a top digit 1 to both a and b, and so on. So this kills most of the cases, and there are only two remaining possibilities. Either r equals to 0, or r equals to 1. If r is 0, then n is a multiple of 10 to the k. In this case, it suffices to note that 10 to the k is the sum of 22223 plus 77777. Then we can handle the top digit as previously. And similarly, when r equals to 1, we just need to change the last digit of 22223 to 22224, and the similar things hold. So finally, by induction, the statement on S is valid. Next, we saw that the cardinality of S could not be smaller than 5. Otherwise, I take a subset of four numbers and considering the last digit of n. This implies that all the numbers between 0 and 9 must be the reminder of some numbers a plus b modulus 10. This means at least five elements in the set a plus b must be odd numbers. Now if we consider the parity of elements in S, it could have 4 even numbers, 0 odd number, 3 even numbers, 1 odd number, 2 even numbers, 2 odd numbers, and so on. But none of these possibilities 
give five odd numbers in the sum a plus b. And this is a contradiction. So the minimum cardinality of s is 5. I hope you enjoyed the solution. See you next time. Bye bye.